Worldwide, only one-third of adults understand basic financial concepts. Only 24% of millennials understand basic financial topics. 12% of adults would not be able to pay their monthly bills if they incurred an unexpected expense of $400 or more. Welcome to Money and Investing Talk with Ali Sharaki and Kian. A unique way to learn about finance. Ali has an MBA in business. He's an experienced senior forex, stock, and crypto trader. And you can follow along as he teaches his son about investing, trading, and everything finance. Live from the United Kingdom, Birmingham, this is the greatest money podcast on the planet with your hosts, Ali Sharaki and Kian. Hello everyone and welcome to our show. Uh, today we're going to be talking about personal profiling and why personal profiling is very important uh, when you are trading, investing or making decision. Making decision is the most important skill an investor can have. Actually, it's so important in everything, not just in investing. You know, we are made out of our decision. We can, you know, make a decision of be sad today in the morning or we can make a decision or be happy today. So it's all about choices and making good decisions to have a better life. Now, personal profiling is so important. Let's ask Kian if he understands what does personal profiling means and how does personal profiling can affect him or his decision when he is buying and selling games inside the game market. Well, um, I think what personal profiling is, is it um, like the decisions you choose to make? Personal profiling is you. You. Your personality. For example, how, how you choose to wake up and everything. Yeah. How your, yes. How your personality affects you. How your attitude. The way you see the world. Uh, are you an angry person? Are you somebody who um, blame other people for every mistake? Are you somebody who thinks the whole world owes you something? Are you somebody who... Most of the time you are angry. Are you somebody who is emotional and uh, you know cry a lot? Are you somebody who wakes up uh, late in the morning, early in the morning? You know, all this is your personal profile and all that determine what kind of uh, trading, what kind of investment you have to do, what time you have to be investing. Because there's no point me telling you, you need to go out. Because many people keep asking me this question, Ali, what is the best thing for me to trade in? So that's why I'm going to be introducing a few concepts in the next few weeks to explain this, why I can't tell you what's the best thing for you to go and invest in. Because if I told you you have to wake up 5 o'clock in the morning and then you have to go and invest in this, what if you are somebody who loves to sleep at 5 o'clock in the morning? Yeah, I would like to sleep five o'clock in the morning. Yeah, I hated it myself. When my mentor said to me, you know, go and do this strategy and you have to wake up five o'clock in the morning. I used to wake up four o'clock in the morning, go for a jog, you know, trying to be an early bird person. <laughs> but I'm not the early bird person. I go to sleep four or five o'clock in the morning, right? And I like to sleep until 11, 12 o'clock and I wake up 11, 12 o'clock and my day starts after 11, 12 o'clock after I go for my walk. So somebody telling me I need to wake up five o'clock in the morning to invest. Maybe I can do it for one week, two weeks, but I can't do that for a month. How long did you used to do that for? I did it for four weeks. And he, four weeks? Yes, and it was very... Uh, I actually took it out of school because I didn't want to wake up early morning to, <laughs> <laughs> to drive every day to school at 7 o'clock in the morning. You know? So that's why personal profiling is so important and you being aware about you, who you are, and how you are making decisions. We'll be back shortly. You're listening to Money and Investing Talk 
Now, back to your hosts, the dad and son duo. Here's Ali Sharaki and Kian. So yeah, so how does it how does that affect you? Have you noticed it when you are making decision in the market when you are buying and selling games, like the day you are angry? How well, you um, well, what did uh, this actually? I'm gonna actually tell you something that actually happened to me a couple of weeks ago. Mm. Um, I was actually feeling angry and sad, and the next day, uh, I think it was two days later, I had a tournament going on, and um, I have uh, you have a certain amount of tickets. And uh, if you use all your tickets all of a sudden, like all in one, then you can't get back into the tournament for maybe a couple of years or a couple of months. And it's really hard to get into that tournament. So what I said to myself is um, I'm going to save that ticket because I'm feeling angry. I'm not going to enter the tournament because uh, what I used to do before, because I was really after the money, I used to enter the tournament even if I was angry. And uh, most of the decisions I was making was wrong because I wasn't thinking right because I was angry and sad. You mentioned something very important because I was doing it because of the money. That means you were chasing money, isn't it? Yeah. If you are chasing money and you are not doing it because you love to do it, you won't be able to do it properly. That is personal profiling. That means yeah. somebody needs to work with you to help you to overcome that fact of why are you chasing money? Because if you're chasing money, money always run away from you. But then uh, I started reading books like Robert Kiyosaki reached out for that and then mm. I started having a great understanding. Like one of the things uh, Rich Dad put that in the book he mentioned is um, I want you to start going to work for free. Okay. So you get used to not getting paid because if you're not doing what, you, if you're just doing what you, if you're just doing your job for the money, then mm. that means you don't actually love it. Mm. And um, for example, if you are able to do it for free, like how we do this podcast yeah. for free, this means we actually love to educate people because we are not getting paid for this podcast, but we are sharing our knowledge with people. So if we don't love it, we are not going to do this. After two, three weeks, yeah. we would have stopped, isn't it? Um, and that's the same with my game. If I didn't love doing it, I'll probably quit because the money and everything. Mm, what if mm. I didn't win it, for example? Mm. I would have been upset and everything. Mm. I got angry. Mm. So this is very important. You being aware when you are making decision, who are you? Because who you are and the habits you have and the way you are thinking, the way you see the world, all that affects your decision making. And what's the most important thing when you are making investment? Decision making. Decision making. If you made the wrong decision, you lose money. If you made the right decision, you make money. You know, so that's why 80% is psychology, 20% is mechanic. That's why sometimes is much more difficult for somebody who hasn't done self-development to actually get it and understand it. That's why you need to have a lot of self-development. Yeah. Uh, actually, last week, what actually happened uh, two weeks ago, last mm. week or two weeks ago, in my game market, uh, what happened? I had this item and it was worth twenty pound at that time. Uh, now it's gone uh five hundred pound. Now it's gone up to five hundred pound. But um, two weeks ago, because I wasn't in the mood and I was uh feeling quite sad and angry, I just sold it without knowing what's going on. And then, uh, decision, and then five minutes later, I was like, oh, I just made the worst decision ever. And now I could have had five hundred. Absolutely. Pound That's my loss. Absolutely. And like using that strategy at six o'clock in the morning, I lost a lot of money on that one because my personal profiling wasn't fitting that strategy so uh, you know it's nothing to be worried about when you are uh, you know when you go to any investment courses the first thing they do they help you to find out your personal profiling to understand what fits you because there are many strategies not, not everyone has the same personal profile yeah not all a strategy also fits all personal profiles so that's why it's so important for your mentor or somebody who's training you in financial market or making decision that's why I'm a decision making coach. You know, I teach people, help people to make better decisions. So they have to do the personal profiling, find out who you are, what is your lifestyle. Because if you don't do that, and I give you a strategy, I'm going to give you a strategy. You can go on and start trading. That strategy has been making money for me just. But what about you? You have your own strategy. That what you if it does? You see, we customize the strategy for the person, personal profile. And that's why they love to do it. But if I give you my strategy, just what I use at the time I'm using it, what if that time you have to go into a school run and you can't do it? Yeah. 
That's what? like that's like cutting the mushroom, for example. Maybe yeah. you're cutting it different way, and I cut it different way because yeah. I find it easier. Yeah. So me as a coach, I have to come and adjust the strategy to fit your need and your personal profile. Otherwise, you're gonna be like a teacher who's in a classroom and is teaching children, and he hates to be there. Imagine that teach exactly because he is chasing money because he just wants the money. That's why he's doing a job. How do you think that teacher behave inside the class? Probably angry and shouting all the time. At angry, children. shouting at the children. Do you think that person is gonna be a good teacher? No, because he love to do it. He's chasing the money. He keeps looking at the time. He just wants the time to finish to go home. He just wants to collect the money. And go. You gave me example today, didn't you? From about your teacher in the school. What oh, what yeah. was the name? Uh, one of my teachers, uh, we were talking about breaks and everything. And um, one of my teachers, uh, he's kicked out now. Uh, but all the time, for some reason, he used to come in 10 minutes late. And what he used to do So is... he used to come 10 minutes late. That means he's stealing from your time and teaching. And he's getting paid from the government to be there to teach. So he's stealing from the government and stealing from you already. Yep. Right? He's not using his own time. He's not coming 15 minutes early. He's coming 15 minutes late. That means he's taking them from their money and your time. And what did he do after? He takes 15. Because he came 10 minutes late, he takes 15 minutes from our break and then he stood, uh, teaches us in there. And the funny thing is... So he took 15 minutes off your break. Yeah. He didn't say, I'm going to stay here 15 minutes extra to teach you. Now, the teacher who loves their job, they would stay 15 minutes extra. They wouldn't use the break time. And the, the children break time to cover that 15 minutes. And then the funny thing So is, basically, he stole 15 minutes in the morning, and then he also stole the 15 minutes from the break. Minutes. That's 30 minutes of other people's time he has stole because he's chasing money. He's there to just make the money, and he doesn't want to exchange his time. He don't want to give his time. The funny thing is, also, he was having his break while he was taking from our break. Yeah, yeah. He's eating and everything. So you have to sit down there and watch him eat the food <laughs> as well. Right. Five that's months. a that's a good example of somebody who hasn't checked their personal profiling before choosing their job. Right. So very important. You want to buy a house. You want to make any decision, any kind of decision. You need to make sure you understand your personal profiling, how you make decision, how you see the world and how everything works for you. That's why when we are teaching people, for example, about trading, we make sure we check their personal profiling and we make sure the strategies fit their personal profiling so they can have consistency and continue doing it. Otherwise, the best wins and everything. Yeah, otherwise they're going to give up halfway. They are not going to be able to do it. If you don't love it, you're not going to continue doing it. You're not going to have consistency. Like I uh, I see a lot of people who actually enjoy waking up 6 o'clock in the morning. But for, for myself, I don't prefer that. I exactly. like waking up I'm an entrepreneur. I'm an entrepreneur. Like, like, you know, sometimes I, I'm, you know, I'm building businesses until 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning and then I just like to go sleep like whenever I'm tired. Yeah, and you know what? They used to say early birds win all the thing. Guess what? To me, early birds, the one wake up early morning, they are picking up after what I picked up. So all night, I've been <laughs> taking all the good wins, and they are taking after me when they wake up. You know, like a seagull? Like nighttime, everybody had all the chips and everything, and they throw the rubbish on the floor, out. and the early bird seagull comes up. <laughs> Everybody's different, right? Everybody's different. So... Make sure you understand your personal profiling before you start investing or, you know, get inside any financial market or any important decision. Thank you very much. And we we'll see you in the next show. You've been listening to Money and Investing Talk. The mighty dad and son duo, Ali Sharaki and Kian, shooting you straight between the ears about money, investing, trading, and wealth creation. We hope you've enjoyed the show. We know we had fun. Make sure to like, rate, and review the show. We'll be back soon. But in the meantime, find Ali on social media at Real Ali Sharaki. Find the show at Money and Investing Talk and Kian at Kian Shiraki. Remember, financial literacy is just as important in life as the other basics. See you next time.